The Golden House is a novel by Salman Rushdie, published in 2017. It is a modern saga that chronicles the triumphs and tribulations of an enigmatic immigrant family, the Goldens, settling in contemporary New York City. The story is narrated by Rene Unterlinden, a young filmmaker who becomes intrigued by the mysterious Golden family living in a secretive mansion in the gardens, an exclusive residential area. The Goldens are presided over by the imperious Nero Golden, an enigmatic billionaire who has relocated to the United States under mysterious circumstances along with his three adult sons after the death of his wife in a terrorist attack in Mumbai. Nero Golden is the patriarch of the family who has changed his name along with those of his sons to protect their true identities. The family members are Petronius or Pedia, a recluse and an agoraphobic genius, Apuleius or Apu, the artistically inclined middle son, and Dionysus, or D, the youngest, who struggles with his cultural identity and gender confusion. Rene becomes deeply involved with the Golden family, obsessively documenting their lives, while simultaneously wrestling with his creative ambitions and romantic entanglements. His infatuation with the family leads him to propose making a film about them, entitling it American Star. With the hope of capturing the essence of America's identity conflicts through the lens of the Golden's experience. As the Goldens immerse themselves in New York society, Nero Golden, despite his long-held tradition of secrecy, begins a high-profile relationship with Vasilisa Arseneva, a glamorous but scheming Russian expatriate. Nero's relationship with Vasilisa becomes a focal point for the family's dynamics. She has her sights on becoming a part of the Golden Empire, while Nero remains oblivious to the true nature of her intentions. Their marriage not only redefines the power dynamics within the family, but also brings the past Nero tried to escape back to the forefront. Meanwhile, the Golden story unfolds against a backdrop of a changing America, marked by the controversial presidential campaign and subsequent election that parallels the rise of a fictional character named Gary Green Gwynplaine, a villainous, joker-like figure who embodies the divisive and outrageous political zeitgeist. Rene's own life becomes complicated as he falls in love with Suchitra, the daughter of a wealthy and influential Indian family. Along with his personal romantic story, he delves deeper into his artistic projects, drawing ever closer to the Goldens and becoming a confidant to each of the family members in turn. Via his own experiences with love and his relationship with the Goldens, Rene grapples with questions of identity, belonging, and the nature of truth in art. As the novel progresses, significant revelations are uncovered about the Goldens' past, including their original identity as a crime family in Mumbai. As Nero's crimes in his previous life start to catch up with him, Pedia battles his mental health issues, and Apu confronts his artistic pride and family obligations. Tragedy strikes when Apu is murdered, which sends the family into a downward spiral. D, the youngest son, embarks on a journey of self-discovery, with his narrative exploring themes of gender fluidity and sexuality. Undergoing a series of transformations, Dee finds some measure of personal peace, but also faces the ultimate consequences of the family's dark legacy. The fate of the Goldens unravels in a series of calamities. Nero's marriage to Vasilisa collapses when her true colors are revealed. She leaves Nero after bearing him a son posthumously named Golden, surrendering the child to Nero's care. The novel's climax comes when it is revealed that an enemy from Nero's past in Mumbai has caught up with him. This confrontation leads to a violent and dramatic finale that effectively ends the Golden family's saga. Rene's intertwined destiny with the Goldens culminates in his completing his film, which ultimately comes as a tribute to the tragic narrative of the family he grew to love and the country that became their stage. In the wake of the Goldens' downfall, Rene is left to reflect on the nature of storytelling, the clashing forces of history and contemporary life, and the enduring quest for identity and home. The Golden House thus juxtaposes a tale of personal and family drama against a larger canvas of cultural conflict and societal change, offering a story rich in character study and social commentary, and ultimately a reflection on the American dream and the relentless pursuit of reinvention and redemption in the face of past sins.